going on YouTube? It's your boy Bert Collins. Back with another video. Back with a banger. Look, check it out. I'm over here at this food truck called Rico's Taco. It's right over here by my house. So I decided, you know what? I haven't done a food review in a while and I want, I want to do stuff that's local. So I'm going to hit up this food truck. It's located at the gas station. <laughs> the gas station in uh, Fircrest, right before you get into UP, right off of South or right off of South Orchard Street. So we're gonna go and we're gonna check it out. I think I'm gonna get shrimp fajitas. I'm gonna show you guys the menu real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna get the food, and then I'm gonna take it back to the house, and we'll do the food review there. All right, peace. Yeah, man. Got the bag now. I guess we're just gonna go back to the house. Food secure, we got Rico's Tacos. I'll see you guys when I get to the house, which will be in about three minutes, all right? Peace. We're going up to the crib. It's a beautiful day. I think I'm gonna eat this food outside. So, yeah, see you guys when we get outside. YouTube, finally, I can sit down and eat this fajita. We got The tortillas right here for the fajita, corn tortillas. We got our salad, which looks like, you know, regular lettuce, a tomato, and uh, some shredded cheese. Then right here we got our two hot sauces. And then we got everything we're gonna throw inside of our tortillas. You got your refried beans. Your Spanish rice, guacamole, sour cream, your peppers, your onions, and your shrimp. All right, so let's just gonna dig in. So I'm super duper hungry. My dogs are fighting right now. So we'll start with uh, the refried bean at the bottom. Make sure you get some of that cheese on there. All right? You can throw some rice in it. You don't need to throw a lot. You don't need to throw a lot. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of rice. Then we'll go your onions and your peppers. So now we're gonna throw some onions and some peppers up in there, right? Like that. And you throw your little shrimp up in there. I'll do two shrimp, you know? Make sure you got some of these red peppers too. Where's that tomato? That might be tomato. I think that's tomato. Make sure you got some tomato up in there. I always eat the first one plain because I want to see how they, they season their food. This is with no hot sauce, no nothing. Oh, this is good. Like, if you don't like hot sauce, you could just eat it plain. I didn't put no guacamole. I didn't put no sour cream. 
I'm going to, but I had to get that first bite. So throw a little guac in there, a little sour cream. Boom. Have it sitting like that. Boom. It's gonna be my second bite. Mm. You know it just tastes better and better. For this third bite, we're gonna add some of the red hot sauce. Mm. A little drip action. That got a little bite to it. It's not like crazy hot. Yeah, that got a little that got a little spice to it. Okay. This is good. I mean, everything tastes fresh. It's cooked well. Yeah, this is good. There's nothing crazy about it. There's nothing crazy going on. It's not like, oh my God, you gotta go. You gotta try this place. But if you're looking for some good, some good tacos. Now, personally, I like when they give you the uh, the pickled radishes and the pickled carrots in the plastic bag on the side. When you get that, that's when you know. That's when you know you got some good shit coming up. But this is good. This is good. I'm gonna try one with the green sauce. Oh shit, I forgot. You're up in my onions. Onions, tomatoes, peppers. And that's where all the flavor's at. Right there. Throw that other scrimp in there like that. Gotta get your little bit of guacamole. I wish they would have gave me a little bit more guacamole. Kind of scant me. They only gave me about three tortillas. I got four tortillas though. It kind of scant me on the guacamole. So I gotta be honest about that. But the taste is good. Now we're gonna go with the green sauce. We're gonna go with the green sauce. Hit them with that drip action. Drip. Really? That's how we doing that. I don't know the difference between a fajita and a taco. To me, like everything with the same ingredients but just with different names mm. now that's fire why did that taste so much different damn flies is the green sauce that much different than the red sauce Guys, comment below. Is the green sauce that much different than the red sauce? Because that made this taste so much better. Like, I don't know what. That green sauce. It has to be the green sauce. So maybe for the next tortilla, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix some green sauce 
and the red sauce because the green sauce is fire. Oh, I'm losing it. I have no problems being messy with it, you know what I'm saying? I need some water. I'm back. Stay hydrated, my friends. All right, so. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh, gonna mix both the red and the green sauce on this one. Same combo. The refried beans, feel me? The rice. Got the guac and the sour cream. Like I said, they shorted me on the guac though. And then you got your onions, your peppers. up in that thing thing one time one time scrimp and if you're like me so you got tortillas in the fridge too so if I run out I can go get some more you feel me Double sauce, hit them with that double sauce, that drip action, that green sauce, pause, pause, and then that red drip on top. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be really active right now, it's about to get real messy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be done. You gotta mix the sauces. Mm -hmm. And you see the technique I got going on, right? You bite from this side, because it's gonna push everything that way, right? And then you come back over. And then you bite on this side and it pushes it right back in the middle. Three perfect bites, you know what I'm saying? And then you hit them with that twist, that roll up. You hit, you hit them with the backwood, right? down with some agua, you feel me? Man. Shit's fire. I'm gonna at least get through this, this last tortilla. I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and do something. I'm gonna post all their information. I think they got an Instagram, a Facebook, and all that. Uh, all the information I can post, I'll link it below. I might even throw it in the video too. Because I know people don't like to read nowadays, you know what I'm saying? So I'll try to make it as easy as possible. Taco truck is slapping now. Like, I'll be full. I'll be full for a while. At least till dinner. And I'm going to still have some shrimp and, you know, I might just eat the rest of this then. I'm going to throw the peppers on top this time. Up the food it was pretty good it was pretty good I gotta say that I would give the food a rating of 
7.5. I'll give it a rating of 3.75. Just due to the fact that I'm kind of particular and I really like pickled jalapenos and carrots and vegetables. And I kind of wish I would have had a little bit more sour cream and a little bit more guacamole. But the food was really good. Um, yeah, so if you're on your way home, check it out. If not, you know, you're not missing anything. But, you know, if you're in the area, check it out. Uh, it's your boy, Burt Collins. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Uh, I've already tapped in. And now I'm tapping out. Peace.